Hi there, did you miss us? We are back today with group 3 in our fantastic estate Elswoud. If you missed our episodes and just tuned in, then you must go see group 1 and 2 already online. You can find the episode on our social media channels of Miss World Netherlands. Now it's time to meet the beautiful young ladies in group 3, which are Mandy and Nienke. For them we sorted out the team as well. They will have to answer questions related to healthcare and well-being. I'm pretty excited and hope you are as well. Let's see if they are up for the challenge. Hi there, welcome back. We are here today with group 3, Mandy and Nienke. So girls, are you ready? Yes, I'm so <laughs> excited. Excited, <laughs> yeah. really? Okay, not too much stress. No. <laughs> you can do this, you're a power woman. You are totally trained, so you will be fine and okay. To start with Mandy, we're going to see her introduction first. Have a look. Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Bakewilder. I am 24 years old and I'm from the city Den Bosch. I have studied International Business Studies and I graduated many years ago. I'm working as a flight attendant, which is my dream job and my passion for, from the bottom of, bottom of my heart. I'd love to do this for the rest of my life. So as you can hear, my love for the world is really big. I love exploring the world and getting to know about the world a lot. My hobbies are writing stories, traveling on my own, because I have been traveling on my own a lot of times in my life, and I love blogging. I have a fashion, travel and lifestyle blog, which I post weekly on. Thank you for listening. I'd love to show you my journey during Miss World Netherlands. So Mandy, what a nice introduction you did. Thank you so much. And of course, we have a question for you that no one knows. And it is, you're still single. How I can it be that you're still single? Such a beautiful woman. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. But anyway, how is life to be single at the moment? Well, that's a good question. Uh, what I appreciate most about being single is, for instance, the independence I have and the freedom that, fairly speaking, I can wake up tomorrow and think, I'm going to travel the world on my own. And I can wake up and stay away as long as I like at one of my de dream destinations and I've done that six times already. So that's one of the benefits, I think. So you have six dream destinations? Well, I've been uh, to six de destinations on my own so far. Oh, okay, and which one was the best you saw? For sure, Japan. Japan. It has, my dream, has been my dream for years to go there and I've been there twice because I love that country okay. so much. Well, I can imagine that. And there's nice sushi, of course. Amazing, the best. Yes, I think so. Hey, but do you have some advice for people at home at the moment, also single, because we are having COVID, semi-lockdown, we cannot see anyone. Tell us, what is your advice to the younger people? Well, my advice is that there will be an end of this period, that this crisis won't last forever. For instance, one of the main things that you can do best is to keep in touch with your friends and family. Try to keep in touch, not only physically, by meeting people, for instance, or to um, going to people's houses. That, that's not really a possibility currently, but just calling them, trying to stay in touch as much as you can by social media, using Zoom, Skype, because you should not get into um, social isolement because if that happens you can get mental illness and that may last longer than the whole COVID situation currently and just keep in mind that you have to keep your hope and there will, there will be an end of this situation and then you can meet your friends again and it will be okay again. Thank you so much Mandy. You're welcome. <laughs> and now we have the introduction of Ninka. Ninka, how was your experience with the introduction? Did you like it? Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. So I, what uh, did you do with the introduction? We went outside and uh, we are filming there. So. Wow. <laughs> so I'm very curious what you did outside and what your introduction is. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nienke Beskers. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Winterswijk. This is a village in the east of Gelderland. This is almost Germany. <laughs> Um, my hobbies are um, being creative and have fun with my friends and family. They are very important to me. And uh, yes, that's me. 
That was a very nice introduction movie, Thank Ninka. You. <laughs> Congratulations on that. You did the very best of yourself. But of course, we want to know something more about you. Yes. And your grandparents, they live on a farm. Yes. Exactly, right? Yes. <laughs> you are very often on that farm. What do you like so much on being on a farm with your grandparents? Um, it's so quiet there. <laughs> it's uh, in rest and peace and uh, the animals I like and the nature. So, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite animal on the farm? Uh, a horse. A I horse? Think. Yes. Why? <laughs> Can you explain? Um, yeah, since I was little, uh, I grew up with it. <laughs> and do you also do horse riding? Uh, when I was a little girl, I did some horse riding, but uh, now not anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, when you grow, you also have other things to do and you find your way in another passion. So that's okay. <laughs> yeah, every now and then you can still have a look at the yeah. horses, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ninka. Thank you. So the healthcare is very much under pressure due to the COVID situation in the Netherlands. Yes. What do you think we can improve or do for the elderly at this time? I think uh, the elderly is very lonely this time uh, during COVID. And I think it's a good idea to send them letters or postcards so uh, they uh, know that we think about them and they are less lonely. Yes, very <laughs> good. So let's do that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's send those postcards to all the elderies in the country so they have a nice brilliant day to start with yes. <laughs> thank you so much Ninka Mandy also for you healthcare mm -hmm. covid situation of course sorry but this is at this time the most important thing the theme that is spoken a lot about yes due to the consequences of the government mm -hmm. Your generation is touched the most. For you sure. can't go out, Horeca is closed. What are you doing at this moment to fill this, this emptiness? Myself or other people? Yourself and other people, because you're yeah. not in this alone. Yeah, for you're, sure. <laughs> it's your generation yes. that is touched by this. So how do you deal with that? Well, as I uh, told you in my uh, previous um, message is that it's very hard to um, to get in touch with people in real life so try to keep in touch with people using social media try to talk with others about your problems Man. and that's important because you should not get into social disillusionments and uh, because it can give you mental Ill illnesses and that may last longer than uh, the corona crisis may last so try to keep in touch with people as much as you can because you, it's okay to talk about your problems because it's totally normal to not feel okay in this situation. Nobody of us has experienced this before, so that's very important. And as well, try to focus on the things that you can do. Put your energy in things that you still can do. For instance, your hobbies, try to read a good book, try to focus on the hobbies that you can actually pursue at home and not just only when you're with other people or outside. And that's the advice I would give because I do that myself as well and I'd like to give that message to others. Yes, because you have a blog. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I love blogging. I own my blog for five years already and I like sharing my experiences about my solo travels, for instance, because I've traveled the world multiple times on my own. and I, It's one of my passions, also because I'm a cabin crew and I uh, don't really travel with my, um, with my airline, but in my free time. And I love taking good pictures of my whole um, experiences in other countries with my camera, which I always bring with me. <laughs> And I like writing about it with some tips inside to tell people, hey, this restaurant is really good or visit this hidden spot. I just love doing that and sharing my passion for fashion as well, because I love dressing up nice and buying nice clothes and just, yeah. Do well, that. <laughs> I actually follow you now on the, your blog and people should go and see for your tips and Thank the you. things that you're <laughs> writing. So. Follow Mandy on our blog and uh, you will find out so many tips and advices. So congratulations on your blog. Thank you so much. And now, Mandy and uh, Ninka, it's time for Beauty with a Purpose. So we yes. would like to know what your Beauty with a Purpose will be or is actually on. Yes. Um, well, my subject is stop bullying because it's a worldwide subject, which happens a lot 
in multiple places and I myself am a bullying victim. Uh, sadly, I've been bullied for a very big part of my life. And not only verbally, but also physically. And I'd like to inspire others with my Miss World uh, journey to lift up others that are in the same situation and to, yeah, to make people feel good about themselves and uh, make, create awareness, sorry. <laughs> so you have been bullied and yes. you have been physically Attacked? Yes, as well. I've been punched multiple times after school or even in class and that's just something that's, yeah, that happens not only in my position but also uh, yeah, in multiple schools at other children. And, yeah, okay, I'm really surprised that this is still possible in the Netherlands, yes. but let's get to the problem. Do your beauty with a purpose yes. and go out there and, and see what you can do with uh, bu Stop Bullying. Yes. Very nice project. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you so much. Ninka, of course, you also have a beauty with a purpose. Yes. And it's about fairness. Yes. Tell us all about it. Um, I personally, I have a fear disorder and a panic disorder. And that's very difficult and I'm struggling with it all day. Um, that's why I want to create awareness uh, about that subject to um, help other people. Yes, we know that you have been going through a lot, but you've grown so much already. Thank you. <laughs> you are strong women. Don't forget that, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Even stop, jongens. Camera. Ninka and Mandy, we are back and we are going to discuss, ladies and gentlemen, women of the history and women, strong women that are still here today. And Ninka, you choose Aleta Jacobs yes. <laughs> and she's known for women's rights. Tell us all about her. Uh, Aleta became the first graduated uh, female doctor. What do you find the most remar remarkable thing she's done? Yeah, that she's yeah, graduated as a, a doctor. I, I think that's very uh, yeah, difficult study. <laughs> uh, she did something else. Do you know that? What did she do? In 1902, Aleta achieved to make a law. This law has meant for young girls in shops, so to stand on their feet all day. So in 1902, there were some restrictions for women, but is this still relevant for today? I think there are still uh, differences between women and men in uh, what they get paid uh, for the same job. So thank you so much. And there's an action to make, so women, and men can get, <laughs> oh, there you are, that women and men will get paid the same salary. So we have a job to do in the Netherlands. Yes. And I think also worldwide. But for now, for the Netherlands, if we can make the difference and start here, we can spread it around the world, right? Yes. As Mandy told, because you have the same women that you have been choosing, chosen, Malala is the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, right? Yes. And she won that prize because she did make children's life better. What is her goal? Uh, she fights for education to children and young people. And um... Yes, that's <laughs> true. And what about you? You look up to her? Uh, yes, well, when I saw her in the news, I, um, I was shocked when I saw the news that still so many children have no education. Mandy, you also choose for Aleta Jacobs. Yes. Why? Well, because she's kind of the founder for feminism in the Netherlands. And because of her, we, all, uh, we as women are so far as we are now in the Netherlands. For instance, she is the first Dutch woman to have graduated from a higher study. And she succeeded and she uh, graduated on the level of doctor, like her father did. And she's a big example for feminism today as well. What do you find the most remarkable thing that she accomplished? Um, the start of feminism and the start of um, access for uh, education for women in the Netherlands. 
for higher education as well, because she graduated from a, from a higher education as a doctor, as the first Dutch woman in history. And from there, we only grew higher and higher as women. And uh, well, the race to get better and equal to men for women has never stopped. And uh, she's one of the people that uh, has founded that for us. Thank you so much for your strong answer. You're welcome. <laughs> and now we have a, wom a woman of this time. Yes. And again. As well. <laughs> as well. Yeah. You have Malala. Yes. Why did you choose for Malala? Because I watched some uh, documentaries about her and her, st her story is really inspiring. Because she's a girl with a, with a very good focus and a very strong goal for a girls' education, um, especially for younger girls that have bad access to education to make it equal for boys as well and for girls to um, be able to go to school and uh, from there to get a good job, etc. And uh, well, she has an endless fight and she is not stopping, so that's why she's so inspiring in my opinion. Okay. Mindy, yes. Malala won a prize. Yes. What was that? She won the Nobel Prize of Peace because she stood up for children's rights and children's education, especially for girls. So ladies, you did both an amazing job. I'm very curious if what Amy Joy will say about this subject. We will see that back in the episodes of Group 3. So stay tuned, watch and look out for Miss World Netherlands 2020-21. Thank you so much, ladies, and see you next time. Amazing how these young women have been doing the challenge of the head to head. I don't know about your thoughts, but I must tell I'm blown away by their knowledge. Their motivation and hard work to bring awareness to the beauty with a purpose is so beautiful. It is with passion they have been getting into the projects that they are presenting us today. We are lucky that young women as we have here are bringing us experience knowledge and passion to make the difference so in the future the youngsters will have it hopefully more easy don't miss the episodes because this is only the start and if you want to know who's going to be the winner subscribe to youtube and do not miss anything any news any update follow us on social media and you will get the best of us <laughs>